how long do you think this bullish sentiment could continue? And what do you think could rock the boat? What is your number one concern? Lauren, do you want to start off? Sure, uh, I'll start. You know, I think with the benign default outlook and even with some inflationary pressure that we're seeing come through from wages and certain raw materials in our portfolio companies, we're seeing the vast majority of earnings continue to increase. And what was so impressive during COVID was to see how many costs and how companies rethought how they ran their businesses. So coming out of COVID, we've seen an immense amount of operating leverage, which has allowed companies to continue to grow sales and EBITDA, even with some of these, these, these pressures on, on their cost structure, because so much came out and it became so much more efficient. Uh, we may have bottomed on defaults, perhaps. You know, we are well under 1%. That's, that's less than a third of historical averages today. Um, but I wouldn't expect a meaningful increase anytime soon. We really feel like this is the beginning of a new credit cycle. Um, so from a fundamental basis, we're quite strong. From a technical basis, you're seeing a lot of demand um, for leveraged loans from both CLOs and, and retail buyers, SMA accounts as well. And you're seeing a lot of supply. Um, so when you ask what, what derails it, in the, in the near term, I think it could just be a risk off trade, you know, valuations from the equity market coming down and flowing into our market. That's not really a fundamental issue. I think the fundamental issues are quite a few years out where you're seeing some underwrites today um, not differentiate on companies based on, you know, how, how much they'll grow and how much leverage they'll put on. So we're seeing more deals come to market with higher amounts of leverage that's indiscriminate on whether the company is growing 2% or 10%. What about you, um, Roberta? Do you agree with that, with that view? Yeah, I'd say for the most part, we, we agree that uh, fundamentals in the business or across, uh, across corporate credit are very strong. Expect that to continue as we go through Q3 and Q4 earnings. I would say that over the last six months, we've seen a real shift in terms of um, management's uh, focus. So as we went through COVID and through most of 2020, there was a real focus on preservation of liquidity, raising liquidity, preservation of the balance sheet. Um, and in the last quarter, and I think this is now reflected in uh, the issuance we're seeing and the pace and size of issuance we're seeing, there's been a real shift um, back to managing businesses for equity. And management teams, and I'm sure Cade will talk to this as well, it's sponsors' role to really drive equity returns. And I think we've really shifted back to that type of environment. And we're seeing that, as Lauren said, with some increased leverage, but we're also seeing it in terms of um, use of proceeds through the loans that are coming to market, be it dividends, recapitalizations, refinancings, and most specifically, M&A. And that really goes to uh, the Medline transaction that's in the market uh, this week, um, which seems to be going exceptionally well. Um, but I think we'll see an acceleration of that pace of um, more equity-friendly use of proceeds uh, as we go through the balance of, of the year. I do think that um, default rates, you know, we haven't seen a default in months um, in the loan market or the high-yield market. Um, as Lauren said, I think, you know, it, it'll be hard to maintain that um, you know, near zero rate, uh, but for the foreseeable future over, you know, the next 12 to 18 months, uh, you know, I think the credit market is uh, going to continue to be a very attractive one. Um, I think it's reflected in uh, the price we're receiving from loans. It's a very stable environment. In particular, um, I think this is balanced by uh, CLOs being the main driver of um, demand for loans. Um, I do think, though, the question of how long this lasts um, is one where you know cycles have have been getting shorter and shorter, and uh, the pace which with with which the market turned around last year, I think, caught most of us off guard. Um, 
and so I'm just conscious of uh, how long this is going to run. Um, I think, you know, for the foreseeable future, uh, we're in a very great corporate credit market, um, and I think we're uh, going to be in it for, for some time.